Hello everyone, coming, uh, it's Agnes coming to you from my car, recording the voiceover to the video. So this is another thrift store makeover. This time are, we are going to be working on a bird and I'm actually thinking it's the, uh, the bird family. Uh, there, there is some obsession with me and a bird. So um, they did have this sort of not too appealing coating on it so i decided to give them a nice fresh coat of a chalk paint and literally paint them all over now look how clean they look like how nicer it's like a clean canvas for us to work with i actually do not have a big plan on it all what i wanted to do is to decorate start from decorating the uh, the harlequin um you know the base using the harlequin pattern so as you can see is i took my um again a skinny popsicle stick since my little base is not too wide and try to um create the angles and the way i am doing exactly the same way i've done my project yesterday um with the checks or the stripes i just followed the thickness of it and obviously i do not have a bending device so I'll just wing it, you know, and I will just make the markings. I stretch my pencil here and there um, until I get to some so sort of an angle. Um, obviously, if I would have had a stencil, it would have been the greatest, but I don't. So I'm just trying to make sure that the, the little diamonds that I'm trying to create will meet with each other. Um, at some point and the top and the bottom is going to be sort of the same and if they are going to be slightly bigger or smaller Well, you know what? This is handmade stuff <laughs> So as you see is I am connecting now drawing my dots and now I'm going to start to connect those dots I mean the lines um, on opposite corners and yes, I will use here and there my uh, Popsicle stick to help me out when the lines are bigger, but see how easy it is the whole point of the harlequin pattern is to make sure that the uh, um, that those uh, you know how do you call the highest points are on the same uh, level because that looks actually uh, the best. So I think I'm done. So here we go. I'm getting into. But if you do have any questions, obviously I am going to be able to um, help you out later. And you know, and I actually do have a pattern on my blog of how to draw the harlequin pattern. But either way, so now, of course, here I go to the black and white. It's just because as I was painting this, I I do have the cage, remember, with the bird. So I think I got to stay with black and white. And it's the same thing as it was with the uh, checks. I try to, here we go, the pattern is painted. I try to keep my uh, uh, first uh, paint in the middle of the pattern I'm filling in. And then um, I'm just simply taking care of the edges before I go and fill all that in. So now I am actually slowly trying to create a design. So first I'm starting with the wings. And I'm going to sort of sketch the wings on the side. Obviously, I can't really do much to this guy in the middle. Just, you know, and that's where my whole problem started. I just did, could not um, figure out what am I going to do to not to leave this guy not being decorated or over decorated. So I'm playing my games over here and trying to get in a mo mood of um, this whole pattern and try to see. I mean, the only thing I was positive were the wings. So it does look pretty good. So now let's just keep on adding the gold. So I brought my gold leaf um, liquid and I'm using the Q-tips to simply add additional dots right to the top of um i mean to the to the connections of those diamonds and originally i was thinking maybe i should have add also a dot to um, the opposite corners right on the edges but then i decided that uh i better use um you know i, be I better make the whole rim all around it so here i go i'm just well no actually no i'm going to actually draw outline of again with the gold leaf uh, liquid the wings and i'm really going easy on those uh, birds as much as i do on the pattern i um, i'm not positive what kind of pattern so maybe you can help me out um, in the comments what kind of pattern will you add to them i was actually thinking you know to keep them solid in the different colors but then again i am all about white black and gold majority of the time so I'm just adding the big uh, gold, um, actually painting their um, legs or whatever they call the feet. 
and I'm still, you know, I'm ready with my gold, but I can't decide what am I going to do. The kind of the project that I should have actually do with you live because you are full of ideas and it seems like I'm taking it too easy but I'm still using a lot of gold and I have to tell you I gotta admit it that the gold leaf on their uh, legs or feet it looks really pretty good so I think for now I'm going to leave it the way they are and simply wait for you to help me out with this We'll for sure continue with the rim on the top and the bottom of that block, but um, that will be it for now. I think, I think, look, all of a sudden that harlequin pattern looks so rich and it looks really nice. I actually do like this. So, um, yeah, keep, me, keep those comments coming and let me know what will you do with this. But in the meantime, somebody better get the gold out of my hands because I'm afraid I will go nuts over here. Well, not really so look what i have i've i found those crowns the mini crowns in all different sizes and shapes uh right for my um on the amazon so i decided to literally um crown my birds for now before you tell me what i should be doing it so i am crowning this as a mama then i'm crowning one in the middle as a boy and one and on the side as the girl so here we go i have three different crowns and um, I have a nice birds right there. I like it now. I still miss a little bit black in there. So why don't I just squeeze something in there? I do have a lot of bling. You know I love me some bling. So I thought that I'm going to add maybe that little flower to pretend that things are growing on their feet. I do not know. And then I'm going to for sure um, add this butterfly somehow to it. There's no bee needed. I wish I had uh well I did if I would have had a big one I would have added so I do like it I'm not sure about those flowers but the butterfly I do like so I cannot wait what you guys are going to come out what should I add them to it uh, add to those birds but in the meantime I'm just going to highlight a little bit of the um, you know back of my bird and a little bit of their chest I'm going to leave the top um, cleaner and of course I'm using my gilding wax in gold so it is still sparkling all around absolutely love this product and I think that will be it I do not want to come back to those birds looking like um, I got them from the uh, the thrift store so I think it's enough it is a difficult piece of the uh, um, um, crafting that I am dealing with. I still, I still have to look maybe for some kind of 3D um, element for the wings. I do not know, but I just cannot wait to hear what you are thinking. And of course, now I got to secure my butterfly because as I was waxing all of it, it fell. I guess it wasn't dry. So here are the close-up pictures. Do you see all different crowns? They all different sizes. They are looking more female and male, I think, at least in my eyes. So I really hope that you did enjoy this uh, fun uh, makeover from the thrift store. Oh, here is another one that I've just made. And you are going to sprinkle that for me because that really helps all of us. So it's again, thanks for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.